So I've got a Rogers X10A running 1.6 and I'm going to show you how to use Binary's graphical flash tool to go to 2.1. This flash tool includes Java and it works on any X10. It goes to 2.1i or 2.1a. So to start off, go to the website in the, the description and download the flash tool. Next, download whatever 2.1 firmware you want. So X10i or X10A. Once you've downloaded those, you have to have update service and PC Companion installed. And you have to start by going into update service and using the official method to make sure that everything works properly, your computer set up, the drivers are installed, and you can get your phone into flash mode. If you can't update using this official method, then you have to check your computer. Something's wrong. X10. So now it's going to ask you to connect your phone into flash mode. So I'm going to show you the method I use, which is I, I find easier. So don't plug in your phone yet. Uh, if it doesn't detect, you can use another USB port. So to start off, take out the battery, plug this end into the phone, hold the back button, put the battery in, and now plug the USB cable into your computer. When you plug it in, the green light will turn on, and update service will detect your phone. This is the official method of updating your phone and this has to work or else you can't flash your phone. So now it's saying that there's no updates available, but that's fine. You have to do this to make sure everything works properly. So click exit. So once you've downloaded the flash tool and the ROMs, This is Binary's graphical flash tool. There's a bunch of files in here. What you're going to do is copy the entire folder. So let's say X10A generic. Copy this entire folder or move it into the flash tool. So there it is. You can put multiple firmwares in there if you want. So once you've done that, Startup X10 Flash. So the graphical flash tool has now started up. Just going to start the stopwatch. So now, what you're going to do, the phone should still be in flash mode. Unplug the phone, or unplug the USB cable the phone will turn off. Go into the flash tool, click flash. It automatically detects all the different firmwares in the folder. So there's only one here. Click OK. And the flash tool will start searching for your phone. Now, plug your phone back in. And the flash tool will pick up your phone. It'll then flash all the files to your phone. This takes about three and a half minutes. And that's it. So it's now finished flashing your phone. So disconnect.
and then hold the power button until you feel it vibrate. The first time you start up your phone, it will take a while as it's uh, doing all the settings. Let's go to English, United States, and next. And it's back to, it's going through just all the setup steps. And you now have 2.1. You can now use Binary's flash tool to also root the phone. X10i, A, and 2.1. So go into settings, go into applications, turn on unknown sources, Go into development and turn on USB debugging. Now, plug your phone back in. Go into the flash tool and click on root. So it'll install it and then run the rooting program. So on your phone, just go into your applications and Z4 root and click root. And that's it. So that's how you use Binary's graphical flash tool to both flash your phone as well as root. You can then use the other op options to remove applications.